There are nine types of channel on the SQ, which can be freely assigned to any channel strip across the six layers. It's very easy to assign these channels to. Just press the Setup Screen key and go to Surface and Strip Assign. The top part of the screen now displays the available channels and the bottom part shows the layers and channel strips. In the top section, with IP selected, we can now touch and drag left and right to show all 48 input channels. These can be sourced from any of the SQ's analog or digital inputs. Going to effects, we see the four effects send buses and eight stereo effects returns. The sends here are the master effects send levels, which are also controlled by the master strip when a blue effects mix key is pressed. The stereo effects returns are fed from the eight rack effects units and can be assigned to channel strips when the unit is in mix return mode. This is because when the rack effects unit is being used as an insert, its return is being routed directly back into the channel it's been inserted on. Touching mix shows all mixes. This includes the main LR mix, 12 stereo mixes, which are the auxiliaries or groups, and at the end, we can see matrix channels, which can be fed by any combination of the other mixes. The final tab displays the DCA and MIDI channels. DCA, or digitally controlled amplifier channels, allow you to control the level of multiple channels with a single fader. The MIDI channels allow you to transform a channel strip into a MIDI control strip, sending MIDI messages out over USB and TCP IP. To assign any of these channels to a channel strip, just select a layer using either the layer keys or the on-screen buttons. Then simply drag and drop a channel from the top to a strip on the bottom. You can assign any channel to any strip, and you can assign it multiple times, so you could place the same channel on every layer if required.